Hi guys, this is Rick. Hope everyone's having a really great day. This is a video tutorial that I have been meaning to sort of get done for absolutely ages. I keep being asked by people how I put my, or how I compress my videos to fit them onto YouTube and how I sort of still get a, a pretty good quality. Now I do have to say right from the start, firstly, I am old school. I do not have an HD camera. I use a mini DV camera, but it is a 3CCD camera, which is like semi-broadcast quality, and that will have a bearing on the, uh, the end quality or the end result that I get on YouTube. Secondly, I also use a PC and I use Windows XP. Now I have tried this technique using Windows Vista and it didn't work very well at all, but if you've got access to Windows XP then this hopefully should work for you. So, have a look at this bit of footage and I'll come back to you at the end. Okay, so what I've got here is just uh, one minute of uh, basic uh, random stock footage. This is a, a buzzard flying around. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this into a DV AVI format. So if I go File, Export, Movie, and then I go into Settings, this is what I do. Okay, first things first, the file type, what I do is go for DV AVI. Not just AVI, but DV AVI. Uh, on video, I just basically leave everything as the default. Now on keyframe and rendering, what I do is, for the bit depth, usually in, uh, in Premiere Elements, um, the use project settings is the default, but what I tend to do is I just whack it up to maximum. And uh, I'm not 100% sure whether it makes much difference or not, but uh, it's what I've always done. And the other thing is your, uh, your fields, your scans. You can have um, interlaced or progressive scan, and you always want to go for progressive scan. If it's going to be shown on a computer screen, you want progressive scan. If it's going to be shown uh, on a normal everyday CRT television screen, which um, not many people sort of use these days, then you want to go for interlaced. But apart from that, forget about interlaced, go for progressive scan, and you won't get those horrible horizontal lines that uh, quite often you see in some of these videos. Personally, for audio, I have got the option of taking it up to uh, 48,000. Um, I tend to stick with 44,100. What I found in the past is when I use 48,000 uh, hertz, um, I get issues with the end product. But whenever I use 44,100 uh, 44, hertz, uh, I don't get those issues quite, quite as much. So I'm going to just save that as a DV AVI file. That's saving now. So there we have the actual finished buzzard footage that I just saved, and uh, that's as a DV AVI. So what I need to do now, because that is a massive file, that's 225 megabytes, and that's just one minute long. And I mean, I could upload that to YouTube as it is, and it would take ages to upload. But obviously, if that was a 10-minute video, that would be um, measured in gigabytes, and. Uh, that's absolutely no good whatsoever. So what I need to do is reduce that down, and what I do is I use Windows Movie Maker. So there we go, there's uh, Windows Movie Maker. I'll just go in and get uh, that video that I just saved. Drag, there we go, drag the buzzard footage to, uh, the, what's his name, and then I just go in and file, save movie file, uh, next, I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna call it uh, buzzard, okay and uh, I'm going to save it as, I just select other settings, let me zoom in. So this is Windows Movie Maker. I've chosen uh, other settings and uh, gone into there and uh, video for local playback, 2.1 megabytes per second. That's the setting I use. Now, I think you can only get that setting on the Windows XP version of uh, Windows Movie Maker. If you've got Vista or Windows 7, I believe the settings are different. But uh, this is the one I use, and uh, just go on to next, and it will then save the movie. And I click finish, and it will play the movie. And there we have the finished uh, buzzard footage. There we go. And uh, that's all playing fine. So it's still a minute and uh, one second long. There you can see the uh, new buzzard footage. It's now a WMV file as opposed to a DV AVI file, which it was a little while ago and uh, as you can see it's only 15 megabytes in size. 
That's a one minute long piece of footage at 15 megabytes. If the uh, thing was 10 minutes long, then obviously it would be around 150 megabytes in size. So um, it's a nice size to upload to YouTube. There's no major deal, you know, major issues with the size of it. And you're gonna get a good quality uh, on YouTube. So there you go, that's basically uh, all I do. Technically you should be able to do this in your own sort of in your your first generation editing software. You shouldn't have to sort of save the file and then go and crunch it down. But I've tried it and I've tried it a lot and it really, for me it doesn't work. This works and I like to go with what works. If you guys want to give it a try, see how you get on. Hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, it'll work for you too. So that was it for today. Thanks for watching guys, have a great rest of the day and I will see you in the next video.